You may well be aware that race discrimination has been investigated by scholars for decades. For example, you may be familiar with findings on race discrimination in the labor market, whereby black workers, for example, earn substantially less than white workers for the same job. This wage differential is based on how employers treat workers of different races. Two main explanations are forwarded for the wage differential. One is that on average in an expectation, a black worker is paid less because of characteristics related to the color of their skin. For example, a black worker may be less likely on average to have health insurance or reliable transportation. In turn, they are a less reliable employee on average and are therefore on average paid less. This sort of race discrimination has a name. It's called statistical discrimination, whereby various attributes that are statistically associated with race underpin the wage difference. The other reason is that the employer just doesn't like or want to be around black people. This sort of reasoning is called taste-based discrimination, and that is just the personal preference of the employer. Pinning down which type of race discrimination, statistical or taste-based, is important if we are going to progress toward eliminating discrimination. Unfortunately, in most settings, it is very difficult to isolate statistical discrimination from taste-based discrimination.